This is the new Toyota Igo, and it's a tiny city car, the smallest vehicle that Toyota has ever sold in Europe. In truth, that's not very interesting. But then neither are Toyota cars, and the main people buy them because they never break down. But we think the Igo is interesting. Firstly, it looks great, kind of young and cute. Secondly, it's cheap. It costs just £7,000. Now, you might think we're just into solid gold Lamborghinis and Ferraris with jet engines, and you'd be right. But we do love cheap cars, especially clever cheap cars. Let me explain. Some cars are designed and then built cheaply. The Igo was designed to be cheap from the start. It's in its genes. Look at this. In most hatchbacks, the hatch is a piece of metal and glass. In this case, it is just one sheet of glass, which means they save money on expensive metal pressings. And it only needs one gas strut to hold it up. And there's even just one piece of string to hold up the parcel shelf. It all adds up. And look inside. Just simple painted metal and no extra fripperies like dual controls for the windows on the driver's side. In most cars as well, the seats are different for passenger and driver. In this car, they're both exactly the same and that saves costs at the factory. They've also lopped a cylinder off the engine, leaving three, which saves money and weight, which means this tiny car has a tiny thirst. It's also put together like Lego, so if you say smack a bumper, it removes with just two bolts. Now that brings servicing costs down, and that means the insurance is cheaper. It gets a rating of just Group 1. Although it's been built in the cheapest possible way, they've left in stuff that you'd like. Little things that make driving civilised. So you get ABS and airbags and you can have sat nav and air conditioning if you want. But there's other stuff, little touches that let you know they've really thought about it. Here on the stereo there's a socket so you can plug your iPod in. So we like the cut of its jib. Can we talk about the car? Yes. I think this actually is a great little car. It is. I really do. But it isn't quite as simple as that because you see this is a very small Peugeot. And this over here is an equally small Citroen. Now, don't be fooled by the fact that they've all got slightly different faces. They are, in fact, the same car underneath. They're built in the same factory, they're built by the same people, and they've all got the same engine. But it's not as simple as that either, because the Toyota and the Peugeot both cost £7,000. The Citroen, same car, cost £6,500, 500 quid cheaper. So, the three, go for that one. Okay, it's time.